NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basics of induction machines. Before that, we will discuss about the what all are the topics are very important for the competitive examinations. The important topics in the induction machine is the bus stone is you should know the basics. What is internet speed? What is sleep? Then second topics the relations between the frequency of outer current with sleep. Third important concept says you should know the equivalent circuit of induction motor. Fourth one is losses and power flow concepts. In the losses and power flow concepts, you should know the following relations. First one is the relation between the stator input to rotor input. The second one is the relation between the rotor input and rotor copper loss. Third one is the relation between the rotor input to rotor mechanical power, air gap power. The fourth one is efficiency calculation. The fourth relations you should know. Fifth topic says torque equation. What is the maximum torque, full load torque and starting torque. Sixth one is the types of single base induction motor with comparison. The seventh one is the comparison between school gauge induction motor and slipping induction motor. Then finally, the speed control methods and various testing methods. These eight topics are very important topics. When you are going to write the examination, you should know these eight concepts. In the part one videos, we are going to discuss about the basics. In a three phase induction machine, the three way supply is given to the stator of the induction machine. In the stator, there is a three coils. Each coils are separated by 120 degree. So, when three way supply is given to the stator winding, the rotating field is produced. The rotating, the speed of the rotating field is called as synchronous speed. The speed relation is NS, uh, synchronous speed is equal to 120 FYP, where NS equal to synchronous speed, P is equal to number of pole, F is equal to stator supply frequency. Then the stator field attracts the rotor conductor. The rotor conductor will tries to catch the stator field, but the rotor cannot catch the stator field. So the rotor rotates. The rotor speed in the induction machine is always less than the synchronous speed. Slightly less than. If the rotor rotates more than synchronous speed, the machine will act as the induction generator. Then slip. What is slip speed? Slip speed is defined as the, the difference between the synchronous speed and rotor speed is called as slip speed. So, ns minus nr. Slip in percentage is defined as the ratio of slip speed to synchronous speed. So, ns minus nr by ns is 100. This is the basic concepts. Now, we will discuss the problems. First problems. This question is asked in TRV, Polytechnic Examination, 2021 examinations. Our objective is to find the rotating state of flux, synchronous speed. We have to find the synchronous speed. For the synchronous speed calculation, we know this formula. State of supply frequency is given, f is equal to 50 hertz. We have to find the number of poles. But here, number of poles is not given. Instead of that, 3 slots per pole base is given and number of slots is given. From that, we have to find the number of poles. So, number of slots per pole base is equal to from this statement, we can write this formula, number of slots per pole into base. Number of slots per pole per base is 3 is given, number of slot is 72, this number of pole is not given, so P, number of base is 3 phase. Simply with this equation, we will get the number of pole, P is equal to 72 by 9, the answer number of pole will be 8. Now, for the calculation of synchronous speed, we know the all the parameters, frequency and pole. So, substitute here, we will get the synchronous speed. So, ns is equal to 120 into 50 by 8. So, the answer will be sum of p. So, option c is correct. But in the DRB examination, the number of slots is missing. Data is insufficient. Okay. In the second question, this question is asked in also TRB 2009, 21 examinations. Here, two conditions is given. One is the rated condition. This is the rated parameters. Another one is operating condition. In the operating condition, stator supply frequency is equal to 40 hertz. Slip, as in half the rated slip. Here, S means rated slip. S1 is operating condition slip. Okay. So, S1 is equal to half the rated slip. We have to find the running speed of the motor. So, rotor speed. 
if we know the slip and synchronous speed we can easily find the rotor speed okay so we got to find the rated slip for the rated slip calculations here rated data is given so rated frequency f is equal to 50 hertz this is the rated frequency then speed rotor speed is given nr is equal to 1850 rpm whether it is a rotor speed or synchronous speed we will check rotor speed is just always less than synchronous speed we know that so if the pole is 2 what will be the synchronous speed ns is equal to 120 into f by p so f means 50 hertz number of pole is 2 so we will get 3000 rp the number of pole should be in e1 so if the pole is p is equal to 4 what will be the synchronous speed ns is equal to 154 so 1500 rp this 1850 rpm is not 10 synchronous speed and also the synchronous speed always just higher than rotor speed so there is no possibility of number of pole p is equal to greater than 2 because if b is equal to 4 the synchronous speed is 1050 rpm less than rotor speed so not no possibility okay so for the system rotor pole is p is equal to 2 and synchronous speed is 3000 rpm now what will be slip we know the slip formula ns minus nr by ns in 100 so here ns is equal to 3000 nr is equal to 2850 so we will get slips equal to 5 percentage now we will try to calculate the rotor speed in the operating condition at the operating condition frequency f is equal to 40 hertz number of poles equal to 2 here number of pole does not change so slip s1 is equal to s by 2 here 5 percentage so you will get 2.5 percentage slip is known if you know the synchronous speed we can find the rotor speed but the operating condition frequency changes so synchronous speed also changes so ns is equal to 20 f by p so substitute 120 into f40 number of pole is 2 so we will get the synchronous speed is 2400 rpm slip is known we know the slip formula ns minus nr by ns substitute here slip is equal to 2.5 percentage ns synchronous speed is equal to 2400 rpm minus rotor speed is unknown value from that from simplify this equation we can find this rotor speed nr is equal to 2340 rpm so option c is correct now do it yourself first question is asked in tnv 2018 examinations the second question is asked in get 97 examinations try to answer this my answer is first one is option a is correct the second one is option b is correct okay in the next part two videos we will discuss the second important concepts okay good thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share